Okay, first, put your feet on the floor, hands, uh, hands uh, behind your head, and crunches up. Get your shoulder blades off the floor, and then go all the way back down so your head touches. All the way back down. Next, bring your legs up to a 90 degree angle and then do more crunches. I like to put my hands out in front, don't reach too much. Again, shoulder blades off the floor and go all the way back down and keep your shins at a 90 degree angle from the floor. Then, feet up straight, legs straight up in the air and reach for your toes. So again, get your shoulder blades off the floor, reach for your toes. And touch your toes every time. Keep Try to keep your legs as straight as you can. Next, you might have to put your um, hands under your butt, um, just a little bit like my um, my butt's kind of resting on this part of my hand right here. So hands under your butt and lift your butt off the ground. So it's just your butt coming off the ground. Try not to swing your legs too much. And just straight up into the air. Alright, next keep your legs straight. Point your toes and legs down and up, down and up. Keep your hands under your butt if you need to, legs straight and put your, get your feet down so that they're almost hitting the floor and then bring them back up really quickly. Okay so next keep your feet just about, just off the floor and just kick back and forth. Um, like your scissor kicking sideways. Back and forth. And then next, flutter kicks. So it's just going to be mini flutter kicks. Up and down. And then finally, put your ankle over one of your knees, hands behind your head, and do uh, crunches going up one to one side. So go up to your knee, crunch up to your knee. And so you want to make sure that your shoulder blade is coming off the ground and you want to be crunching. You should feel this in your abs. Don't just reach with your elbow. It's okay if you lead with your elbow. But you need to get your shoulder blade off the ground. So then switch sides, put the other ankle over your other knee, and again get that other shoulder blade off the ground and reach for the knee. Okay, and then get on your forearms right here and your tippy toes and you're gonna go into plank pose and hold this one for a minute so your head if you fall you want to fall onto your chin you don't want your head tucked down too much just uh, straight straight back keep everything tight and hold this if you don't feel it you can start lifting up the legs so you can lift up your right leg and just balance on your left leg and then try, the up, try to lift up the left leg balance on your right leg and then without stopping so stay stay lifted up you're going to rotate to one side your feet should be stacked and your shoulder should be above your elbow and then um, there should be a, somewhat of a straight line going down your body from your shoulder down to your ankle and then if you can, you can lift the, um, 
your upper arm, lift it straight up and hold that. Try to hold everything for 60 seconds. Come back down, go to the other side, same thing. Whoa, see this one's hard. Go back down to plank and hold for another 60 seconds if you can. Another good one, um, what they do. Oh yeah, this is, this one's good for your uh, hamstrings. So go up onto your tippy toes and lift your butt up and just go up, down and up. So when you go up, lift your hips up as high as you can. Down and lift up as high as you can. Down, lift up, down, up. Do this one for a minute. It gets pretty hard. That's everything. Love you.